Welcome to Your Key to Real Estate. I'm Shannon Kriska, your host and Realtor, and joining me today is Andrew Cooper, Executive Vice President with Arcadia Association of Realtors. Welcome, Andrew. Thank you, Shannon. Pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. Oh, I'm, I'm so glad you're here today. Thank you. Because we have a lot of questions mm -hmm. that I think it's important that people realize that just because someone has passed their real estate exam um, and they can go ahead and, and go out there and, and be a part of a real estate company mm -hmm. um, and they can sell real estate does not necessarily mean um, they have joined an association like the Arcadia Association. Um, that it's very important when, when someone is going to hire a realtor and they interview that realtor, that they make sure that they are a part of association like Arcadia Association. So so really, what is the difference between a realtor and a non-realtor? Sure. Fantastic question. Thanks for asking. It's important to understand that there's really two types of real estate agents. There are those who have passed the test, mm -hmm. and they are operating on their own, and those who have actually joined a real estate brokerage who is also under the California and National Association of Realtors. Right. By being a part of those associations, they're actually a member of the local association, such as the Arcadia Association of Realtors. One of the more important things to note is that by being a realtor, you're actually held to a higher ethical standard than just being a licensee. And that's one of the things that we really, really try and stress with our realtors in the Arcadia Association, that they do put their clients' best interests first. Right, yeah, because I remember taking all, you know, after we took our exams and all that, then becoming part of the association and taking the ethics exams. And it's really good. You learn so, so much. And being part of a community, being part of the Arcadia Association of Realtors, having the National Association of Realtors, the um, California Association of Realtors, there is so much information. You know, we get all the legal updates. Everything to give more knowledge to our clients, give more knowledge to um, each other as mm -hmm. well, you know, to help our buyers and our sellers. So it's very important, I think, to make sure that um, our viewers out there understand that when you are going to sell your home or you are going to buy a home, that you make sure that you do interview your agent to make sure that they are part of the association. Exactly, right. and I think when, when they're interviewing the agents, whether it's an uh, agent to help them sell their home mm -hmm. or to help represent them buying a home, one of the first questions they should ask is, are you a realtor? Right, and what associations are you a member of? Absolutely, right. and especially here in, in the local Arcadia Association, and it's, it's important for me to mention, Shannon, uh, to be a member of the Arcadia Association of Realtors and even to be a consumer, you don't have to work with an agent uh, in that city. Being the, uh, part of the Arcadia Association of Realtors, uh, our agents can sell anywhere in the state of California, Right. being a licensee. Uh, most of our agents work here in the San Gabriel Valley. Uh, our, our jurisdiction would be Arcadia, Bradbury, mm -hmm. Monrovia, Duarte, and uh, parts of El Monte as well. Mm -hmm. But we're just not limited to these areas. We, we can sell. I mean, we have someone in our association who took a multi-million dollar listing up in San Francisco. Wow. We can sell anywhere in the state of California. Wow, that's wonderful. It's exciting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, also, too, like I, I, I love being a part of the association, too, for the community. And also, when I have a listing or other agents have listings, we have our caravans on Wednesday. Yes. You know, so that's a great way if I have a listing, I have all the other agents in, in all of the communities you just have mentioned mm -hmm. to come see my listing yes. or for me to go see their listings for my buyers. Yes. So that's another wonderful thing that the association has to offer agents. It's, it's, it's a huge benefit. I'm sorry to step on your no, toes no, there. Okay. <laughs> what, what we do is every Wednesday we hold what we call an MLS caravan mm -hmm. in the city of Arcadia. Now, saw it's, it's, MLS, for those people that are out there, that's, that's the a multiple mul listing service. Yes, thank you, Shannon. Yes, Perfect. multiple listing service. And what it is, is is where our agents have an opportunity to come and pitch, so to speak, their mm -hmm. properties to all the agents that we have in the meeting. Uh, we get about 100, sometimes 150 agents into those meetings, and it's a mm -hmm. wonderful opportunity to promote their clients' uh, listings to the real estate community. Mm -hmm. uh, I can share with you that the Arcadia Association of Realtors has one of the largest MLS caravans in all of Southern California as far as attendance. We do. It's yeah. amazing. I know the last time I um, had pitched one of my listings, mm -hmm. 
it was, you know, I was really proud to be a part of the Arcadia Association because there were so many agents there. Yes. And there were, I mean, you know, just lines of people getting up to do their listings. And the caravans are so popular. Absolutely. You know, I mean, it was really, it's great for um, homeowners in all the areas that you had mentioned um, to have listings and make sure that their agents are a part of the associations because they just, the caravans, you know, even even with uh, gas is, as it is today, yes. people are still out there driving around making sure that they're seeing all those caravans. Right. You know, so now also as, um, as an agent, what does the association offer the agents? Well, when, when you join our local association of realtors, you automatically become a member of the California Association of Realtors and the National Association of Realtors. Mm -hmm. The National Association of Realtors is one of the largest, in fact, it is the largest trade organization in the United States. And you can imagine with that comes all kinds of great benefits. One of the, the best benefits, I think, for mm -hmm. our real estate agents that a lot of people don't know about is our legal hotline. By being a member of our association, you're able to call our California Association of Realtors uh, attorneys yeah. and get on the spot free legal advice. And they're there. They I are have, there. I have had questions before. Even on Saturdays. Help, to help my homeowners. Yes. And I, they've asked me a question or I've had a question about something. And, and actually, I, you call and an attorney answers. Yes. It's not, I'm not put on hold. Right. I'm not, it's like, boom, right there. I'm speaking to an attorney. My an, my questions are answered. And it's it's a very, very impressive. Exactly. Imagine calling an attorney on your own, how much you'd pay oh. for that 10 minute and phone call. And you never have them talk to you. You'd go right. through a receptionist, right. you'd go through a secretary, you'd ask, what is your question? How, who else can help you? You'd probably talk to an assistant. Mm -hmm. You know, and then at an hourly rate of whatever, then you'd finally speak to an attorney. Exactly. So I was, that's, that's, some, that's very impressive. Yeah. And that's just one extra reason why consumers really should work with a realtor as opposed to just a, a licensee. Yeah. They get access to that legal hotline as well. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Now we also have, let me see, I had, um, what involvement does the AAR have? Oh yeah, with the community. Because mm -hmm. this, I love this, with the community and also um, charitable organizations. Sure. Certainly, one of the things that we actually pride ourselves on is our association, we have roughly 2,000 members. Mm -hmm. um, we are a volunteer-driven association, as are most realtor associations. Right. We have a specific uh, uh, committee designed to work on charitable uh, fundraising for various uh, organizations in, in the San Gabriel mm -hmm. Valley. Um, our committee is called the uh, E4C Committee, Events for Charity, and they do various events throughout the year, uh, bowling, uh, uh, they do uh, golf tournaments, they do bingo nights, you that's, name it. Yeah, into yeah. the bingo. That's, yeah. that's a lot It's a of lot that. of fun. And so what's really nice about it, we, we get our real estate community together, they put in the money, run by volunteers, so there's mm -hmm. no overhead, and we get to give money to local associations or local organizations throughout the community. Mm -hmm. uh, organizations like Boy Scouts, uh, Habitat for Humanity, uh, local uh, meals on wheels, things right. like that, that we give back directly to the to the community. Well, I know I 